So I own the DJI Ronin 4D and I recently wanted to use it with PL lenses. And when I wanted to put my PL adapter on the E-mount system of this camera, I've noticed that I couldn't fit my adapter on it. And I initially thought that the adapter is not good and I tried a different one, but that one didn't fit either. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that there is actually a PL adapter specifically designed for the Ronin 4D. So if you have one of these back home, it's not gonna work. And I did a little bit of research and I found out that DZO produces a PL adapter specifically designed for the Ronin 4D. And we have it here in the studio. It's called DZO Film Octopus Adapter. So we're gonna unbox it and see what it is. We have here the octopus adapter and look at that. Now I can see why it's so different than the one I have. Uh, obviously the flanges are a little bit thinner and we also have this here at the top where we can put our LiDAR system. So let's mount this on the camera, but first I wanna show you something pretty cool. So with the Ronin 4D, I have two sensors. I have the 6K sensor and the 8K sensor, which is currently on the camera. So I'm gonna put the 6K sensor on here because I don't wanna spend that much space. So we're gonna film only in 6K, not 8K this time. So I'm gonna take this out, super simple and I'm gonna put my 6K sensor on, which I think it's so crazy how you can swap sensors this easy. On the 6K one, I also have a counterweight system that allows me to put bigger lenses and it's gonna be great because we're gonna mount a really special lens on this PL adapter. So to mount our PL adapter, you have to strip and get to the base of your Ronin 4D plate. So basically this is the DL mount and this is where the DL mount you put here. You either put your E-mount or other mounts here. And now we're gonna mount our heel adapter. And it should be fairly easy. And now we have our adapter mounted on. And the lens that I was talking about, it's actually the brand new DZO Vespid 12 millimeter T2.8 lens. So let's unbox this and see what's in the box. Mm, the fresh smell of DZO lenses. I don't know if you ever unboxed DZO lenses, but they have a distinct smell that every time I unbox or open the carry case, it smells so good. I don't know why, maybe it's the materials they use or anything like that, but this lens is beautiful. And it's 12 millimeter T2.8, which is kind of crazy. I'm really curious how this lens is gonna look and we got it in PL, so we can test it out on this camera. So let's mount it here. And just like that, we now have a DZO Best Fit Prime mounted on my Ronin 4D. And I am so excited about this because I was dying out to try different kind of PL lenses on this camera. And I've been using the DJI Ronin 4D for almost one year and I always get amazed on how good the image looks on this camera and how versatile it is. And now the fact that I have unlocked PL mount on it, it will change the game because I have so many beautiful PL lenses for this camera now. The only thing that I have to do next is put the focus motor on and calibrate this lens. And after that, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna test out to see how the image of this lens looks because I'm really curious. I never used a 12 millimeter T2.8 lens on a full frame sensor. So I'm really curious how the image will look. And after that, after we test it out outside and see how the image looks, we're gonna go back in the studio and we're gonna test out this lens to see how it flares, how's the minimal focus distance, and also if it has focus breathing or not. But until that, let's see some footage.
So as you can see, we had a lot of fun filming this. We tried to make some one-shot sequences and I wanted to let these shots run for longer so you can judge the image a little bit better rather than just making an edit and doing a lot of fast cuts. And by doing this, I also realized how incredibly stable the Ronin 4D actually is. And I really think this camera was designed for film. Everything that I film on this camera makes me think about film or uh, about a movie or about something like that. But I was really impressed on how good it performed. The LiDAR system did a phenomenal job keeping our subject in focus. And when it came to dynamic range and color grading, the camera was spot on. But when we talk about the lens and um, how the lens performed, I was really impressed that we had a really wide field of view, but because the lens is T2.8, we also had a really nice separation when we were closer to the subject. So I really love the feel that this lens produced with the Ronin 4D, and I really think that the lens is perfect for the Ronin 4D. But not only that, the lens has really good performance, it doesn't have focus breathing or anything like that, and for the instances that we had, that was amazing. And I know a lot of you would say in the comments that we forgot to take out the gun's protection from the front barrel. We actually did. We did, didn't really figure out we were too excited to film, but uh, on the next one I will not forget, I promise. I'm really curious what you think about this video, what do you think about the shots that we made. Let me know in the comments and until next time, I'm Alexander Don and thanks a lot for watching.